Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we have a 2019 Subaru WRX. We're going to test fit the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on it. This is going to be for naked roofs. This is going to be a really good accessory to add to your WRX. You can get a lot of rooftop accessories loaded up, whether you've got a bike rack, kayak carrier, maybe even a rooftop cargo box. Now this roof rack system, like I said, it's for naked roofs. Up top we have our 53 inch long wing bar Evo crossbars. Right now we have them in black. You can see it matches the black color of our Subaru right now very well. But if your Subaru is not black, but you would prefer to have a different color like silver to match yours better, then we have that available here at eTrailer. These are gonna be very durable. They have a nice aluminum construction to them. It's gonna help resist rust and corrosion. We can open up our end cab and see if we can access our T-slot right here. What's nice is that we don't have to pull the rubber strip out and cut it to length. We can just slide our T-slot accessories between the two rubber strips and then get it to the correct place on our roof, then tighten it down. Now right here, we're gonna have our Evo clamp feet kit. This is going to be what's connecting our crossbars to our roof, kind of the middleman almost, but if you count the fit kit. Now we'll pop the end cap off and you can see the inside. We can have our bracket right here where our rubber coated hook goes in. Our bolt that we tighten down is inside right there. When we put our end cap back on, it covers it all up. And what's nice is that you can actually replace these plastic locks with Thule same key system. That'll just give more security for your roof rack. Now right here, we have a rubber coated hook. When you have these roof racks that are for naked roofs, they always have a fit kit right here. You can see how it matches the contours very well on the other, on the inside of our Subaru, lines the roof very well to make sure it has a very snug fit. I'll open up the door so you can see how that rubber coated hook is working, just catching our door frame right here. That rubber coating is gonna make sure it doesn't harm or scratch the finish of your paint. And that thick rubber pad is also gonna make sure not to harm or scratch the finish. Now I wanna go over a few measurements for you guys. First from the top of our roof to the bottom of our crossbar is gonna be three inches. There should be more than enough space to get any clamp-on accessories underneath your crossbar without risking damaging the rooftop of your Subaru. Now if we go from the top of the roof to the top of our crossbar, it's gonna be four and a quarter inches. You just wanna keep that in mind because you do have that added height to your roof. Now with the Subaru WRX, it's a sedan, so it sits low. You're not gonna have to worry about low clearance situations really at all, but it is something to keep in mind. And this roof rack is gonna have a weight capacity of 220 pounds. That's gonna be more than enough to get your accessories up here and load it up for your trip. I do wanna point out, you should always check your WRX's owner's manual. Make sure your rooftop can handle that weight. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get this installed. We're gonna start by just flipping over our crossbar. You can see we have it partially assembled on this side, so we'll come over here, do this side. We're gonna remove the end cap first. All you do is push down on this button, pull the end cap off. Now we're gonna get our clamp foot assembled and installed. We've already looked at the instructions that we have the correct pad and the correct clamp. You can see the number for the, for the hook is going to be right under there. You may not be able to see it on camera, but if you get it under the light, then you'll be able to read it. Then on our pad, it's gonna be at this bottom corner right here. So just make sure you match the numbers with the location on the roof. We already have our front crossbar installed, so we'll get this one up there as well. This pad is going to go on this bracket right here on our evil clamp foot. You can see, kind of see how the shapes match each other. So we'll just press that on. Just give it a good press. Make sure it clips on all the way around. Now once we have that on, we're gonna grab our rubber coated hook and put it inside this bracket right here. You just put it in there and push till you hear a click. You can see it's locked in there. So now we're gonna come over to the side of our crossbar. We're gonna push in on these two silver buttons right here. It's going to open up the channel right there. You can see when I push in, this part raises up. It's gonna allow us to get this installed into the channel of our crossbar. Now we have the scale already set to 37 and a half per our instructions. The numbers are engraved on the scale. Again, may not be able to see it on camera, but you will be able to see it in person. So push in on those silver buttons, slide it in until it butts up against the scale like that. Let go, now it's locked in place. We'll take our end cap, put it on. And now we're ready to get on our roof. Now with both back doors open, we'll raise our crossbar over top of our roof, get that hook set in place, and then over here as well. Now what we're gonna do is get our tape measure out and measure our crossbar spread. What we're gonna do is measure from the front of our 
rear bar to the front of our front bar. It's gonna be 27 and a half inches per our instructions. We need to come up a little bit, so we'll do that. Probably a little bit too far, yep. And then again, you wanna repeat this for the other side as well, make sure you get it as close as possible. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna point out that we got the front crossbar installed by measuring from the top of our windshield to the edge of our clamp foot right there, nine and a half inches on both sides. Then we tightened it down and that gave us our ability to measure our crossbar spread 27 and a half inches. Now that we've got our crossbar in place, what we're gonna do is just get the slack out. You can see how the silk is pretty loose. It's not making contact with our door frame. So we're just going to take our included tool, tighten it down until it makes contact and there's a little bit of tension on it. Now from there, we're gonna go to the, do this on the other side as well. This is done so that you do not have too much pull on one side when tightening it down. So it's as even as possible. And now that we have the hook making contact and some tension, we're just gonna make our way back and forth on each side, doing a couple rotations per side to get it fully tightened down as evenly as possible. Now we've gone back and forth a couple of times and we've gotten the other side fully tightened down. We'll just finish up this side now. This tool is gonna let you know when it's fully tightened down by giving you these audible clicks right there. Now you know it's tight. We'll go ahead and just shut our door. Now we'll grab our end cap and put that on. And it's always a good idea to grab a hold of your roof rack, give it a good shake, just to make sure it's secure. You can see side to side, front and back, we're all good, up and down's good as well. So now we're ready to load up our favorite rooftop accessories and then hit the road. Well, thank you all for watching, but that's gonna do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on our 2019 Subaru WRX.